Hello and welcome back. Today we're checking out my solar powered pump box. These are the Eco Worthy 200 watt kit from Amazon. It comes with the panels and then I bought, you can kind of see it down here on the ground, Gear IT 100 foot uh, 12 gauge wire that runs into the cooler. All right, in the cooler we have the EcoWorthy controller that comes with the panels. There's supposed to be an ink bird there, but for some reason I can't get this one to work. So we're working on that one currently. So I just have this direct wired in for now. Got a vacuum gauge on here. Where's that at? Currently sitting at about nine, nine inches. Got a DECA Marine battery. We got the SureFlow 4008. Down here we have the SureFlow filter. Just a little, just a little guy. And you got it connected into the three quarter inch main. And out this side, we just have a garden hose connector. That goes into the tank. And the line goes up into the woods. Let's run up into the woods quick and see what we're getting. So here are my first set of gauges. Here's the gauges. You can see I got nothing really on either side. Come down here though, you can see Things are going a little too fast. The one on the left side is the top, the highest run. My guess is it has a small leak, but the one on the right, you can see it just whooshing. I'm guessing it probably has a few leaks. So we're gonna run up in the woods, see what we can find. Get things tightened up a little bit and see if we can improve some vacuum plus we'll see what the uh, vacuum gauges on top of the line say well there's one right there i think the rest of this is just chewed up a little bit i don't think there's any actual holes that one right there We'll get that fixed and keep on looking. Found another one. This one's a bit trickier though. Oh, of course, as I say that, it starts sucking harder, but this one, tiny. I just happened to touch it to see if it would do anything. Sure enough. Let's get it fixed and move on. Wasn't thinking I should have came up and checked this gauge, the line I just fixed is right, oh, let's see here, right, right, right there. So I lost all my vacuum, so I don't know what I was working with to begin with. Now I gotta wait for it to charge back up, so I might as well go over to the other side and see what I can find over there. We'll keep working on this, probably for the rest of the week. <clears throat> I think I, f I found three spots. I think there's more, but I need a little bit more vacuum to find those. So, as time goes, we'll hunt those down and get them fixed. I should mention that my short run had 20 inches on it when I made it up there but I think I fixed the whole two lines down from that run so it's probably pretty close we'll have to see probably tomorrow it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow not really get really get cool so we'll see how well it's still running hopefully it keeps running Decently, you see this maybe 
See that? But it's not doing it on this side. But this side's draining in. I'm pretty sure there's a small leak up there. But I'm not really sure where it's at. But I'm running out of daylight. And I gotta get cooking, so. That's gonna be it for today. We'll come back tomorrow or the next day and see what we got. Made it down here to my bottom gauges. The one on the left is sitting at about eight or nine inches. That's my top run. I only found one tiny little hole in that one. So I'm guessing that's pretty good. I might have a small leak up there still. The one on the right is my bottom run that I'm pretty confident has a few leaks in it. And being that it's sitting at about four inches, I'm going to say that I'm probably right. You can also see a little bit of a difference. The one on the top, the line on the top is my bottom run and it is moving much faster than my run on the bottom, which is my top run. But like I keep saying, we'll keep working on it. Get her tight, see what we can end up pulling with it. All right, so it's been a few days. I've been looking for a leak, I can't find it. So we're back to looking for it. I just came back, I just came up for the pump. And you can see the one on the left is the same pressure as the pump was. That's my top run. The one I've been looking for the leak on is on the right and it's sitting at about eight inches compared to the left that is about 16 inches all right so we're gonna go up and see see if we can find the leak today this is my first lateral on this bottom run you can see there's nothing sitting in it but you can see maybe focuses some not gonna focus it's gonna focus on the sky anyway on the right side you can see big bubbles coming in to the T or the Y and then on this side it's a bunch of little bubbles so I think it's adding air in this one but I can't find the leak up here so we're gonna walk up this line and see if anybody else is empty, and if we can find a leak up there. All right, so you can see the second run up here. It's got bubbles moving, but I don't think the air is coming in on this side. I think what's happening is it's going into the Y and then getting jumbled up and it's just looking like that. I don't see any extra air being added on this one, Daddy. even though the line doesn't have anything in it. So we'll move on up and keep looking. All right, so the last one we talked about is right where my finger's at. Then we have this one, this one, and this one. I didn't think it was either of these three, but then I, I got up here and you can see it's sitting. Hold on, hold on. It's sitting right there. So that tells me it's leaking in here somewhere. It's time to get caught up on some projects because it's freezing cold. Well, it feels freezing cold. I think the thermometers say it's like 43. Projected to be 29 today, so I don't know. I got a new ink bird. I guess it's warm enough to get the pump running. Or I guess. I guess not running, but you know, like sap coming in. So apparently it's thawed enough up there to be moving, which is okay considering I wasn't expecting it to run at all today. Anyway, got the new ink bird. We got to get 
this all disconnected and the ink bird hooked up reprogrammed <clears throat> we are currently sitting at whoa I don't know we'll say 10 inches but I got a new gauge for this because this one goes on the other side of the property whoo that wind is cold though anyway We'll get this done and then we'll get back to you. Well, I can't get this one to work either. But for right now, I'm gonna go up in the woods. I found that Y last night that wasn't letting sap go by because there's an air leak somewhere in there. So I'm gonna go up there and see if I can figure out why it's leaking, where it's leaking, and see if I can get it fixed. <clears throat> well, story of my life, no luck again. I thought it was this fitting here, but you can see, can't really tell that there's sap in it, but there's no sap, there's sap on this side, no sap on this side. So I figured it was sucking air through this line, but, I walked up this line and this connector looks the same except it has uh, sap in it going up the lateral the next one up has sap in it going up the lateral but both of them have sap sitting on the back side of the fitting so I'm not sure if it's this line or what the deal is before I leave I'm gonna tap these two in just in case maybe they're sucking air around them but we'll have to wait until probably tomorrow I think it's gonna be warm enough to start running again so we'll wait until then and see if we can find the leak then I still have to get that temperature controller set up figure out what the problem with that is and get my gauge back on the other side of the line so so I got things to do, tinker with, before it gets warm again and we start again tomorrow. Can't get that ink bird to work either. Got the voltage meter, can't get anything on the uh, cooling side. Alright, I'm guilty, I forgot how to wire it. I only had the hot in and hot out. I forgot you had to jump them because this side is just a switch so it doesn't produce it doesn't have power in here but this super fancy diagram that it has would let you let you remember that so let's get it in and make sure I'm right all right we're on attempt number four or five but I think I got it this time let's test it get the End of the water. Where are we at? Where are we at? Stop it. Right, we got that. 26. We're still set at 27. Turn on three degrees higher than that. Ah, we got it. All right, let it cool back down. It'll take it a second to cool down. It warms up way faster than. It cools off, so we'll check back in here in a second and make sure it shuts off. And she shut off at 27. We finally got it. Alrighty, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment about what you learned. If you uh, seen something about this solar setup that you want to know more about, Leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Maybe I'll put it in another video too. That way we can get more information out there for everybody to see. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.